All right, I wanted to show kind of uh, what I've been doing, um, both in the war and in just general. And then I, I just use this similar setup for bossing. I've demonstrated this a little bit before. Um, but I think, honestly, right now, this is the most overpowered setup going. So basically, you get into Soul Neko. You just pick your variant, the one whatever uh, protects the best at the moment. Go with Foam Finger. You can pick your shield. Um, I'm not really too concerned. Uh, this shield is uh, actually, I think, it, it's the best setup uh, for Beastmasters. And then I've got Creature 72 on panic mode with phase. It's going to eat the panic for large damage and keeping my MP and SP healed. Just come over to here. you got a couple ways you could go. You could clever disguise it. It's not as uh, strong, but it's still not too bad. You can use your shield cakes for crit. As you can see, I just one-rounded. You can use your shield cakes for crit, which will um, keep you from having to cast Arms of the Dragon Guard. And one thing I like about the SP and MP heal is you can use these buffs. Let's use crit. Want to use celerity? Go with this guy for my luck and charisma, and then you just go back do it bake twice. Kind of get some of that back. And then this guy has high blocking, so we'll see if we one round here. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'm able to maintain my resources here. Pretty easily. What I usually do though is Frostfall Crown and Arms of Dragon Guard. Didn't even get to phase here. Frostfall Crown will eventually be fixed, so it's not giving me the full damage. It's gonna half their hyper crit rate. I'll probably switch to Area's Rattle for the plus 45 to stack on top of this plus 50. It's on pet mode only. Alright. So I'm gonna do real quick. Let's come over here. I do this, for, I have the Wabio painting. Uh, do this versus Wabio. Do this here also. But I throw a wrinkle in. Um, basically, what I do, uh, I use Geo Castellum as like, basically, it's giving you hit points. I mean, really, it is. I mean, I just got 17% more hit points. What's that? 33% more hit points. That's basically what I'm doing. So what I'll do is I'll... I think it's 5 cast or 6. I think it might be 1 more. No, it should be sufficient. Alright, 19%. I'll, I'll just run with that. Go into Frostful Crown. And then from here, same thing, and then, yeah, it's not doing crazy amounts, but it will increase my my healing of my MP and SP, 
because it did low damage here. That's one of the features of the AI of Phase Wanderer. And then come back over here since I've got some SP that I just regenerated. And I just continue adding rounds and stacking this. Now I'm down to under 10%. Come back over here. Still should have hyper crit. And now I'll use a multi hit spell here. Could also go with Fireball Z. See, I'll just regen my MP and SP. Come back over here and you just repeat. So you really don't need to train your endurance because Geo Costellum has given you that. Another thing that I'll do sometimes with Archmage, here I'll show you real quick this next round here. So again, it's just rinse, repeat. It's kind of cheesy, but it's just a cycle. And this also will play into it. So I've got hypercrit, so I'll just do this barrier. Got an 828, a pretty favorable conversion. doing you just keep doing this and you just keep that modifier real low because you're able just to replenish it it's actually working in your favor um, that the damage barrier is there you can see these really high replenishment numbers here and it's just all you have to do with this build and this setup you can basically beat anything with it pretty cheesy but simple That's it